Hi guys. I did a Patreon video from a Patreon subscribers playing with Zen Coloring Book on my new Spectra 360 HP laptop. Um, I just got this about a month ago and I am so happy I had my laptop was broken in half and, and hadn't had it for about three years and that was my regular computer so it's been so nice to have one and I bought a refurbished and it's in great condition and saved me quite a bit of money so I recommend that. Uh, this very cool collage was made for me by one of my subscribers. I've talked about her before but she's amazing with um, putting together images and uh, she'll get an idea or have a feeling or a, an emotion that she wants to create with and play with and she often sends them to me. I think I've talked about that before, but anyway, this one is just one of my favorites. And so I use it as my desktop background, so you can enjoy that in between. So I'm going to play with, I think I said that um, I had Zentangles app installed, and that's kind of how this new Windows 10 works, as I understand it. It's a lot of apps. And this particular Spectra 360 is a two-in-one, so this is a touch screen and the whole thing can fold into a tablet. So I'm not going to use it that way. I'm going to use it as a laptop so that you can see it well. But I'm just going to play with some different little fun coloring apps on here. Okay? If I can remember how to make them all work. So there's this sketch pad. Sure. This is an app that comes with this and then I'm going to play with some other apps. But this particular app, I want to say it's Microsoft Inc. I'm not positive of that, but it came on the computer already loaded. So you have these different pen weights and pencils. Here's just the marker. And you can choose different colors. And you can choose different weights. So I can go really big with it or really small. And then there's different kinds of erasers. I'm going to erase all ink and just show you kind of how each one works. And the pencil, um, let's find a color that's a little uh, bolder. The pencil is cool because it's more pressure sensitive. So if you rub on it over and over, it's just like if you're rubbing a colored pencil on paper, that it gets darker. So that's kind of cool to play with. And the one I'm going to play with first right now is the highlighter. It has less color selection choices, um, but it still gets really wide, which I like, and it kind of has that um, edge that's a little bit like calligraphy, where it's wide and narrow. So I'm going to play with that a little bit with different colors. Let's see, let's do orange next. Let's do blue. Green. All right, there it is. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Now there's another cool thing about it. Some of you I'm sure already have probably had these for a long time. But I'm just so happy to have a laptop that works and that I can play with a little bit. So, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you. This is a cool feature. So this, there's a protractor and a ruler. And in the center it tells you what angle so you can keep consistent. So let's say I just want to make a plaid. I put it at 45. One thing, however, is that, it, let's see, I'm going to do it this way so that I keep track of my widths. Um, is that if you go outside, the app just quickly clicks off, which is a little frustrating when you're trying to play with it. Hope you can see that. Yeah, it looks like you can. Good. And then I'll flip the ruler. But it's, that's kind of handy. I'm sure I'm going to find something that it's useful for at some point for some graphic work. All right, now I'm going to flip it 45 degrees this way for fun. 
there it is and choose a different color let's do blue the thing with the highlighter is it shows one color through another can i hope that shows up in the camera so that there's a little bit of a translucent quality to it whereas not so with the marker so that can have its advantage or disadvantage depending on what effect you're going for Okay, and then to get rid of it, you just tap it again. Oh, except I kind of need one more down here, I think, of that blue. Okay. Now just for fun, what do I want to do? I'll just put some little... something... Uh, what color do I want inside? I think I'll put a little bit of red in there. And I'll just do little swirls. Whoa, well, that's too big. So let's see if I can figure out how to erase. Small eraser, large eraser. There we go, cool. Looks like it says stroke eraser, so maybe you can do an entire stroke at once. Um, okay, so let's go back and make the red a little bit smaller. There we go. And it's kind of fun because if you want to save it, you can. I'm not going to save this, obviously, but it's fun if you want to play with some patterns and save them for ideas or just sketch something up. If you're someone who sketches things a lot to get your you know, juices flowing, that's kind of a fun little tool. And I love that the colors, this is a backlit screen, and I love that the colors are really vivid <clears throat> and bold. Okay, let's see. Um, I wonder if I can open, um, oh, that just copied it somewhere, oh well, let's see if I can, do a few more of these designs and then I'll say good night.
So that could be really fun for making mandalas, doing a little bit of meditative art. It puts me in the zone. I don't know if it does watching, but it sure does to do it. So spirality. Let's see what happens if I start on the side. Oh, still makes the center the center, I guess. Microsoft Ink app that comes with a computer. The spirality had a black background and it was just so uh, reflective that you could hardly tell what I was playing with, what I was drawing. So there's that. I want to try the color pencil with a little bit of, um, let's try this and see what happens. One thing is the instinct I have is to smash this against the screen, which doesn't, I don't think that kind of pressure is necessarily beneficial, so I don't know if you can pick up on what I'm doing. I'm just trying to put a little bit of deeper gold or orange in here to make it look like it's a little bit of a 3D effect. Then I will play with another one of these. Sprays of whatever made up flower it is. Let's see. Oops, I'm gonna get rid of that uh, ruler. I just want to erase that. Then I'm gonna play with some of these colors again. Let's see, I'm gonna go a little bigger on that. I wish, um, so I got the coolest gift from one of my subscribers, and I, I think it was on Mother's Day, and he had, he taped a song that was so fantastic, and, um, I really, really wanted to play it, but I just am worried about copyright laws of getting either him or myself into trouble, but, um, if he ever makes a little, um, single that he can post someplace just so you know I'm going to be posting it because he's super super talented uber talented <laughs> great voice and I would love to share that sometime with you guys okay so there's a little sprig of something or other who knows what and let's try maybe a certain ball of green that we can put here here and maybe there's a little bit of a leaf there. All right, what else? 
One thing that's kind of a bummer though about this is you don't get that sound of the screen, the paper, and uh, I do like that to hear the graphite or the colored pencils or whatever on the paper. I've, um, same with markers. Markers make kind of a nice sound. interesting. Kind of has a weird shape to it though. All right, I'm going to have to fill that in. There we go. All right, let's make the middle of that. What color? Um, we've got orange. center. And maybe mix a little deeper orange in there too. Or looks like more of a peach color, doesn't it? And then maybe I'll play with that pencil thing again with a, hmm, I've really done the, I don't know what that will look like. Let's try that. I'm not crazy about that, but I'll commit to it anyway. <laughs> kind of makes it look just a little muddy. All right, there we go. But that is the nice thing is you can erase with this. And if you don't like it, you can just get rid of the whole thing. And let's go for another little color here.
Let's try stroke eraser and see if it just gets rid of that stroke. Oh yeah, that is cool. Okay, I don't know if that bouncing is going to just make you guys buggy. I hope not. All right, and for fun, I'm just going to end it with, so we'll just try a sweeping. Who knows why, because these would not be in the water, but it's what I feel like. I love this color of blue. I'm just always drawn to it. Okay, guys, that's all I got. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I appreciate you stopping by and letting me just kind of doodle and ramble. Yeah, and I hope you guys sleep well. I've uh, been doing a little better with sleep the last maybe two weeks. It's been such a nice gift.